Good morning everybody, Joe Carmont Miller here. Hope you're going well. I'm at the Victoria part of London. A piece of London that I feel like I spent my entire life in in the last couple of years. I'm getting outside of Greater London today and I'm going all the way up to Manchester first and then to a little town of Backup. B-A-C-U-P, Backup, uh, have you pronounced it? Now, the reason why I'm going to Bake Up today is it's the birthplace of the legendary Johnny Glegg. You know, I've been talking a lot about Johnny Glegg online. It was his anniversary of death a couple of weeks ago. Coincidentally, the day he died in South Africa was the same day I saw a dream fit on Slovakia. So, I haven't used Mecha Bus since the start of Pentec last year. But look, it's got a microwave. Alright, now just leaving my Victoria. So, I'll be back here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yeah. Megabus. To Manchester by. It's closing in on Manchester now. I should have actually been here around 2, but uh, the driver pulled in for a rest off for half an hour, so that's kind of like why a bit late in Manchester. But it doesn't really bother me because it's summer. The sun isn't set until 9 or 10. And I should be able to get to Baker by afternoon tea time. Just past 3 o'clock now, and I'm on the bus going out to Rockdale. It's going to take at least one hour. So I won't get out there till 4 o'clock. Also, the trick up to Baker will also take half an hour so Google Maps tells me it's 1 hour and 44 minutes from Manchester the good thing is I've got a day ticket so that can get me back from Rockdale all the way to uh, Manchester but I'm staying in Salford tonight so that's the other side of town and I'm pretty sure the bus fare will cover me and you got to bake up, otherwise, you know, another four quid. So, saying goodbye to Manchester for the next couple of hours. I've been inside a coach station only once in my life, and it was back in 2015 when the bus dropped me off here after my trip to Dublin, and I waited for the bus to get back to Birmingham. Well, I managed to rock down now, and I gotta tell you, if this was, you know, winter, like October till March, I would not be having a good time right here because it would be all dark. But now, because it's summer, I can get out and about, you know, and not have to worry about, yeah, you know, darkness. I'm not afraid of the dark, but I mean, Literally, winter time isn't always the best time to travel in Britain or even in a country like Sweden. You only get six or seven daylight hours a day. Ha! Huh, makes me feel like I'm back in London seeing that. <laughs> well, I'm not in London, I'm in Rockdale. Look at that mural right there, Ryan's the Simon Boulevard. I always wanted to visit Venezuela despite all the bullshit of uh, the currency problems and what's been happening recently but you know I'm a big fan of Hugo Chavez alright so I want to go to Bacup service number 464 bus stand D I'm just taking off my jacket because it's getting a bit too hot in this Manchester weather but right now I'm on the 4 44 or 47 but yeah, it's going to bake up. And the exciting thing is, we've got USB chargers, so I won't be out of battery. I've only got like a half hour trip 
to so get from here to Bake Up and then back. So it'll take like half an hour each way. So my phone will not be out of power because of these good buses. Yeah. Just leaving Rockdale right now. We'll be back here tonight, maybe seven or eight o'clock, no late. Oh, there it is. 2019. See, these day tickets are really burning into my wallet. The day ticket to go from here to Baker and back is 540. The day ticket to get from Manchester to here is four pounds. So imagine, you know, being in Rockdale having to work in Baker at like 540 a day. I mean, hell, I wonder why I live in London with all of the cheap buses and cheap uh, train fares. Yep, looks like I'm in Bakup. Rosendale Live Borough Council, welcome to Bakup Market. Bakup, birthplace of Johnny Glegg. This man right here, he was born Bakup June 1953. He left to Bakup like six or seven years old, went to Jerusalem for a year, and then settled in Rhodesia, which known as at the time because his mother was Rhodesian, before settling in South Africa. And I cannot believe, you know, I am here today, 2nd of August 2021, in Baker. That's a good look into the town roundabout, right there. Now, as we are in Lancashire, I assume this is for the Lancashire Regiment. Well, you can't really see it like clearly because of the shadows, but it basically says, in honor, memory of the men of Bacup who fell in the Great War. They died and that we might live in peace. 1914, 1918. To our glorious dead, tell ye your children. This church right here is St. John the Evangelist. Pretty old, I believe. Looks to me like it's 18th century, 19th century. But yes, there is another war memorial to the glorious dead from 1914 to 1918. And here we have the Waterside Methodist Free Church built in 1897. See, Johnny Glegg's father was, you know, Anglican, Christian, but Johnny Glegg's mother was Jewish. Ashkenazi. Her ancestors left the Baltics, like Lithuania, all those Baltic nations, and her mother's parents settled in southern Rhodesia, which would later on become known as Rhodesia and then also Zimbabwe. So Johnny Glegg didn't really embrace Judaism that much, even though he did live a year in Israel and Jerusalem in the 1960s, I believe. He never, you know, even had a bar mitzvah. He just didn't care so much about, like, his Jewish faith. But, when Johnny Glegg died, on the 16th of July, 2019, he was buried the next day in accordance to Jewish rites. So, he is buried at, like, 
High Park Cemetery in Johannesburg, in, in the Jewish section, amongst other famous South African Jews. But, you know, Johnny Glegg wasn't really... He didn't see himself as Jewish. I mean, you know, you have you, you are the son of a inter inter faith couple, and then your father leaves you when you're a baby, and you're raised by your mother, and then your mother takes you out of England to, to Israel, to Rhodesia, to South Africa, and you know, and you embrace your stepfather. It's like. You know, I'm half Catholic, and I'm also half Anglican. I was Catholic for 28 years until I left that Catholic Church, and then for most of the of my life, since I was 28, I just don't really care much about Christianity. You know, I don't want to be seen as Catholic. So Johnny Glegg never really said to people that he was Jewish. I mean. Being the son of a Jewish mother automatically makes you Jewish, but you know, not all children born to Jewish mothers do embrace Judaism, even though that they're born Jewish. I've been trying to find a welcome to bake up sign, so I went all the way back there. So that's the road heading up to Burnley. Yeah. So I haven't found any. Welcome to Bake Up Signs yet. Maybe there aren't any. But you know, I still got more of the town to explore. Man, what a beautiful river that's flowing in Bake Up. <laughs> there it is, look. Lancashire and Yorkshire uh, Bank. It's like the mixing of the two, because Yorkshire's not far from here. We're in uh, Lancashire, so you know, quite fitting to honour uh, both counties. Just what you need discount store. Wow. And this is what I've been trying to find. The sign that says "Bake Up," not just "Welcome to Bake Up," simply "Back Up." Now, with all that spare space down there, they could literally say something very really nice, like "Birthplace of Johnny Glegg, 1953 to 2019." But I don't think they will get too extreme about putting a blue plaque up at the house where Johnny Glegg was born, because nobody knows where in Bake Up he was born. But, we all know that the White Zulu was born in Bake Up in June 1953. It's a very significant day for me today to be standing here in Bake Up, Lancashire. I got my Johnny Glegg shirt on, it's in Savuku, and hell, I, I've even, I always carry my house keys with me. That has a, <laughs> let me see, that has my South African flag on. But you know, someday, I'm gonna go to South Africa. Not this year, but sometime next year. But for the love of travel, I will travel overland from Cairo all the way down to Cape Town without flying. Pandemic pen permitting or not, doesn't matter. I'm still gonna do it. So, I just wanna say hi to all the folks in South Africa. Hope you're all keeping well. And if you're ever gonna to come to Britain, don't forget to swing by Bay Cup. It's where Johnny Glegg was born. Anyway, this concludes my vlog for today. I'm Martin the Metalhead. Stay safe, stay well. I'm over and out.